Welcome back to Sedlak Off-Road School for another adventure motorcycle off-road riding tip. And today we want to talk about gravel, right? If you ride off-road, you'll find yourself riding a lot of these sort of like dirt roads, gravel roads with a lot of rocks, with a lot of loose sort of like surface. Today we're going to tell you how to deal with that. The first tip that we'll give you is very important, especially if you're riding roads um, that you're unfamiliar with, right? If it's new terrain and you don't really know how sharp the turns are, how much you have to brake, make sure you adjust your speed uh, accordingly. Make sure you go at a speed where it's easy for you to control the bike. Uh, the bike's not running away from you. Obviously, stopping in gravel will become really difficult. Um, if you accelerate too hard, the bike will also break loose. So just make sure you adjust your speed right at a pace that's easy for you to control. The second part is, uh, you have to make sure that you find some traction. So especially when you're riding standing up, you have to make sure you transfer some of your weight towards the rear tire so that when you want the bike to accelerate, the rear tire can find some traction. And what we see a lot of riders do is they bend their knees forward and they try to squeeze the bike right here uh, with their knees and they're really light uh, on the foot pack. And you can already see from this view, this way my, my weight actually transfers to the front of the bike, making the rear end even lighter, providing less traction on the rear tire. Where you want to be is again, the uh, form, the uh, position on the bike that we talk about all the time, as the balls of your feet, toes turn in, and then you're able to drop your heels, like right here. That will transfer a lot more weight towards the rear tire. You can see my hips are coming back. And then from this position now, as I accelerate, I drop my heels even more to get that traction. And you will find that if you do that, as soon as you get on the gas, your, 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 your heels drop in, your feet lock in down there. So you have the bike nice and tight. It's not going to start to fishtail. It's not going to step out. You're actually finding traction on the rear tire and the bike's going to take off in the direction that you want to go. So now that we're accelerating, obviously we have to slow the bike back down. And that is a very critical point when you're riding gravel roads. The braking will be a mix of front brake and rear brake, right? You have to be uh, ready to stop the bike, but you can't be too aggressive on the brakes for obvious reasons, right? If you're too aggressive on the rear brake, the rear tire will lock up, the bike will step out and become really hard to control. If you're too aggressive on the front brake, the front will lock up and, and you're just going to lose the front, tuck the front end um, and go down that way. So what we always recommend is, number one, your, your position on the bike, especially riding off-road, you should ride with your index finger on the front brake lever at all times, right? We talked about this in, in one of our other videos, how that helps you keep your position, especially when you're standing up. Now it will also help you to just drag the front brake. So as I'm riding down a gravel road, I look far enough ahead and I can kind of read the terrain. I, I can anticipate the turn and I know I will have to slow down. So slowly I will start squeezing the front brake. Obviously we have a double uh, caliper from brakes. So a lot of braking power for how slow we're going off road uh, or on this gravel road. So just a gentle squeeze on the front brake lever will kind of transfer the weight of the bike towards the front tire. We'll find some traction there and I can slow the bike down nice and controlled. So now if I'm going a little bit faster, I will bring in the rear brake um, just to slow the bike down a little bit more to be on the safer side so I'm not going to run out of space and I do the same thing on the rear. It's not an aggressive step on the rear brake. It's just a, uh, a gentle sort of like dragging of the rear brake all the way into the turn so I can set the bike up for an easy turn. I can ride and turn the bike well within my comfort zone and then when I'm ready get back, move my feet back into that position, drop my heels, get back on the throttle and accelerate. So now that we are on the brakes, um, as I mentioned, the weight transfers into the tires, the bike will be able to make those turns. And that's what we want to talk about now, turning the bike on the gravel. Um, obviously, lack of traction. So you have to be careful when you're leaning the bike over, um, trying to make these turns. And um, if, you, if you've been watching some of our videos, we do a lot of weight transfer um, in the foot peg to help stabilize the bike. And this is a situation where you really want to work with this technique. So as you're coming up, instead of leaning your whole body in and kind of leaning the bike, you want to get your braking down while the bike is upright. And then when you start turning, just drop the inside heel. So uh, right now, as I'm standing, if I'm making the left turn, my 
inside heel, my left heel will drop. That will transfer the weight to the inside foot back and the bike will st uh, start to lean in. My upper body, everything will be centered on the bike. I'm not gonna lean in, I'm not gonna lean away. I'm just gonna stay centered on the bike and just transfer my, my weight in the foot pack just to feel the bike react. And that will be enough to make a wider turn on the gravel road. Yes, you're not gonna make a really tight 180, but that's not the point uh, right now, right? We'll just wanna ride along the road. So just gentle weight transfer on the foot pack by dropping your heel will be enough uh, for you to, to make all of these turns without having to lean uh, the bike over too much and risking losing traction uh, or uh, losing the entire bike uh, in the gravel in the loose dirt. So this clip is a really good example of this technique. You see my inside heel is dr dropping, the bike leans over, my chest is forward and then from there I can just be centered on the bike, accelerate and ride the bike all around the turn without having to lean it too much. I'm not pulling away from the bike, I'm just full control centered on the bike, controlling everything with my feet and my ankles. This is it for today's riding tip. These are the three uh, important techniques that you need to focus on when riding gravel roads, right? Number one, find traction when you're accelerating. Number two, make sure you use both brakes to slow the bike down. And then number three, make sure you, you transfer a little bit of that weight towards the front of the bike. Uh, you weigh the foot pegs accordingly and then find some traction for the bike to turn in. Um, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Check out the description below. Subscribe to our newsletter to get some really nice discount from some of our partners. And then we'll see you next week for another riding tip.